In more tourism news, yesterday we told you that the Atlantis Resort has had to make some staff adjustments due to the ongoing global pandemic. In a statement, resort officials stressed that it was not only closing, how closing, however, due to lower occupancy levels. A number of team members were placed on temporary furlough. It was not closing, that is. Tourism Minister, the Honorable Dionisio Diagler, weighing in on the move. The hotel business is, you know, the staffing levels are based on business. So when business goes down, they reduce staffing levels for people on one day a week, two days a week. And then when business comes, they up they uh, increase the amount of staffing. So that has happened uh, in this industry for many years and it's no different. You know, you have to preface every discussion by saying that world tourism is down by 70%. Then you have to layer on top of that what is happening in the United States, which is our core market. 90% of our foreign visitors come from the United States. And as you can see on the television each and every day, the amount of cases, the amount of people in hospital, the amount of people that are, that are, that are sadly died, right? So, um, Americans are not traveling, obviously, uh, internationally as, as much as they used to. If they are traveling, it's to visit family, it's a domestic tra travel. And so uh, um, we expect after Christmas, after the new year, for there to be a sharp fall off. And then in February, March and April, for there to be a slow ramp up.